Imagine this scenario, typical in many organizations. Alice, Bob, and Charlie are co-workers who interact on a day-to-day -day basis, either through work or as friends. One day, Alice leaves the company. How do you think this will affect Bob and Charlie's interactions? And what about the other colleagues who also interacted with Alice? How does her departure ripple through the organization? Our story tackles this precise issue. We ask the question, how does the departure of an employee affect the socialization patterns of their peers? We approach this question from two angles. First is the group perspective. Here, we think of the contacts of the departing employees as a cohesive group. It could be a team, but also a group of friends from different teams. In this case, we focus about the interactions within the group only. In the example with Alice's contacts, we would like to know if Bob and Charlie are still communicating in the same manner as before. Second is the individual perspective. We consider whether each group member adapts and interacts beyond the group. Bob and Charlie might have relied on Alice for certain information or support. With Alice gone, do they seek out new connections across the company? Do they strengthen current connections? Our methodology involves analyzing a vast data set of internal messaging within a large company. At its peak, the data registers weekly interactions among over 100,000 employees. With this data, we construct weekly interaction networks. From the networks, we extract relevant metrics. This allows us to compare how social networks within the organization change before and after an employee's departure. So, what did we find? After departures, there is a notable communication breakdown within the group perspective. Interactions within the group decrease, and the group's cohesion and efficiency weakens over the following months. From the individual perspective, while there is an initial decline in interactions, we observe that people increase their communication within the broader network, and on average, they also end up in a more entrenched position, where most of their contacts also interact with each other. This points to adaptation by the individual members of the group who were in contact with the departing employee. These findings offer significant insights into the complex dynamics of workplace interactions and also contribute to the broader field of network science by empirically exploring the effects of removing a node from networks. Be sure to also check our paper where we talk about the effect of departures during periods on high stress and also how it is different depending on the characteristics of the departing employee.